Hello everyone and welcome to this basic Unreal Engine architecture tutorial that will show you how you can make quickly and easily your first building in Unreal. So first of all, I need to tell you that this Unreal tutorial does not include any additional content besides the elements that you'll find in your starter pack. And also I'd like to use for the same purpose a level I'd use in my previous tutorials on different aspects of Unreal which you can check out on my channel as well. So as you can see, this is a pretty small level. It includes several hills, a couple of lakes, and recently the uh, latest addition is a small tiny bit of fire right here. But I'm not going to use any of that. I'm going to use this clearing right here to create the simplest possible architectural structure or a building in this case with the prefab or starter pack content. First things first is that I'm in the mode, the select mode, which I'm going to stay in because I simply want to use and manipulate the object that I will use from my starter pack. To do that, simply go to your content browser, find your content and get to the starter content folder. Right here you'll see a pretty adequately named folder called architecture that you should open up and as you can see you have your basic building elements in the same architecture folder set up nice and tidy these include a floor two types of floor or surfaces uh, flat surfaces and you have your selection of walls along with walls that include some kind of window or door. So my plan is to create a most basic square box where you'll be able to enter as a player and kind of check it out. I'll also add a simple texture to uh, the same object or material and create basically a wooden box with a door and a window. To do that I'm first going to take a floor and simply drag and drop it on my level. Right now it's underneath this surface here and it's going to get submerged but you simply take it out and I'm going to check out the landscape to see if it can fit more or less directly on it. I'm submerging it somewhat so it's submerged on all sides and that's my floor. From there on I'm going to add my walls. So this is my first wall. I'm going to try to avoid as you can see this kind of stutter effect that you can see here shows that there is an overlap of this of ob these objects and I'm going to pull it slightly up so I can make sure there is not any of that happening which kind of draws your processes into a problematic let's say spot and you should avoid these overlaps as much as possible. So this is my first wall as you can see the first wall is set and it's connected to the floor and I'm now going to add my second wall by simply copying the same wall through Citrilla C and placing it here. I didn't do that correctly so let's try try that again and yes I forgot to paste it so it's the most basic copy paste function and my second wall is in place. I'm also going to check out if it's aligned with the floor it is and this is my opposite wall. On the other side I'm going to add a wall with a window which is this. Now it's in the wrong position so I'm simply going to rotate it using the E command where I get all of the axes and I'm able to rotate it by 90 degrees and then move it and add it to the opposite side. Now some overlap here will likely take place. Let's check it out. And the seams 
will most likely not be perfect, but now it appears that there is no overlap, which is cool, and that the same object fits more or less perfectly, which is awesome. Uh, and that's somehow also expected because the prefabs are created, uh, the starter content is created in a way so it fits no nice and snug. Last thing I'm adding is my door wall. Again, it's the wrong position. Again, I'm going to use the E command and rotate it by 90 degrees. Let's see how it fits. And there's a floor overlap, but as you can see, up at the upper corner, upper edge, there is also some free space. So I'm simply going to move it up a bit. There is no stutter effect or shutter effect more precisely. And the walls again fit perfectly. And this is my basic structure. All that I'm missing is the sixth side, which I'm going to use it simply the floor element. Again, copy and paste it and move it up. Again, there's the stutter effect. Again, I'm going to avoid it by moving this on the top of the same structure. And voila, there's your very first building in Unreal Engine. Now I'm going to use my player capsule and move it. Oops, let's not do that. Let's focus back on it. Let's move it here. So my player start is right next to the building. I'm going to place it down and then move it. Uh, let's move it here. A bit to here and put it. I need to put it down. Maybe just a bit more. And yeah, player start is ready. So here we are player start and here's my building so let's see it in the game itself I'm going to go to play the shot now my player is active and here it is the building is here as you can see the shadows are also dynamic here is my main source of light the building looks amazing at least to me here's my nice view into the blue and white uh, nothingness of the edge of the level and the door is in place and everything looks and works and feels awesome maybe only this part is a bit extruding or protruding let's see no it's it's fine and now i'm simply going to add for the last step a unified material over the entire building to do that i'm going to select each of these elements there is six of them and here this is the details of the same element as you can see it's called wall door 400 times 300 i'm going to change the material from basic wall to wood and let's see which type of wood we're getting here wall not polished why not and it's here now i'm getting overlap the overlap effect as well so let's see if i can change these wood polished I'm going to do the same for my floor again materials wood wall not polished here the same process goes again and lastly the floor the back door or back uh, window and the ceiling will also go into the same material and here we are and that's it there is some overlap here as I suspected because the seams are not perfect so you can see that the textures are overlapping I would need to kind of push it back and place it like this and also extrude or enlarge the floor and the ceiling to do that you simply use the R function the R keyboard key and extrude it here a bit I should make it smaller the movement should be smaller but I'm going to keep it 
as sign kind of a roof there is an option to make it smaller but I'm going to keep it for now like this and maybe add a bit more roof space so we have kind of an overhead element and place it here and the same should be done for my foundation but I'm not going to change it immediately so already we have a modern structure something that looks like a uh, uh, really trendy, really modern uh, living uh, cottage or something like that, M minimal living. And I'm going to try it out and let's check out how these materials look in the game. So they're really dark and <laughs> that's a problem, but as you can see the same texture is all over the place. It's placed on both sides or all sides of the material or the material texture is present on all sides of the objects and there you go this is your first ever building in unreal engine as you can see creating it's really simple the whole process of using elements and adding them is exceedingly uh, in intuitive in my view and probably one of the easiest ways to get into unreal at all so only the use of prefab the starter content elements allows you to create basically whatever you like and options are huge especially if you're into square like structures like this but you can easily add other content as well other types of architecture that you can use to the, essentially the same principle as this so there you have it that was this introduction or tutorial into unreal architecture hope you liked it hope you found it useful it's really simple it's really easy to figure out and get into so i would love to hear from you have you have any questions or comments also if you know someone who also loves unreal tutorial and wants to learn more about it please share this video with them that's all for me my name is ivica thank you so much for watching please check out my other videos other tutorials and leave a subscribe if you didn't already. Until my next tutorial, thank you for watching and have loads of fun in Unreal Engine 4. Bye bye!